Hello, I'm the Budget Modder and this is episode 18 of my Meng 124th Fokker DR1 build. If you're watching this then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment and ring my bell. That'd be brill. Thank you. In the last episode we scratch built a new rudder as Muppet Head decided to go and lose the original one. We'd already cut the little tinker out so now let's get cracking with cleaning it up. So without further ado let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on. There we go, that's the rudder all cleaned up. Now it's ready for the spars. On the original and the 132nd one, there were two spars along the rudder running horizontally. So to simulate those, I'm gonna be using some very thin styrene that I will then sand back so you can just see them. So let's get on with gluing those in place first. There are also a couple of brackets on the lower section of the rudder that need gluing. There we are, spar and bracket looking pretty good. Need to be cleaned up once the glue's dry. Now for the other side. there we go that's both sides done 24 hours later the glue has dried now to get it sanded back Now for some Mr. Hobby liquid putty, just so we can put a nice even slope on either side of the spa. That's now been left to dry overnight. Now we can knock it back. So here we go. Mm -hmm. 
There we go, that's the rudder nearly ready. Here it is with a quick prime. Still needs some work to clean it up, but I'm happy with how it is so far. Now, do you remember back in episode seven when we built the guns, then in episode 15, when we dry brushed it? During that, I noticed I'd lost the gun sight, but have no fear, I found it. I'm losing and finding so many parts for this model. It's ridiculous. Anywho, time to glue it back on. Okay, that's the sight glued back onto the spandau. Ooh, look, oil paints. Let's just pop these on this bit of paper towel. Let the oil get drawn out. Whilst that's going on, let's carry on with shaping this fuselage strut. the strut sorted. I'm happy with that now. Next on to oiling the prop. I'm using Winsor & Newton Lamp Black and Raw Umber diluted with white spirits to simulate the wood grain on the prop. So here we go with that. First mixing it up. Firstly, I lathered the prop in the oil mix and then popped it to one side while I just cleaned my brush. Once I cleaned the brush and allowed the oils to dry for a bit, I got a very stiff flat brush and used that to simulate the wood grain like this. There we are, that's the prop done. This is pretty good, even if I say so myself. And here's a close-up of it. Next, some Tamiya XF1 black to simulate the dark rib showing through the underside of the upper wing. Here we go. Now for a coat of Tamiya XF23 light blue to blend it all in, hopefully.
there we have it blended. And here's a picture for you. I'm happy with this, a bit wobbly, but then it wouldn't be perfectly straight. Anyway, can you guess what I'm doing here? Yep, you guessed it, masking. But can you get what? guess what colour? Yep, you got it, yellow, again. That's the yellow done. Now for gloss coat. I'm using Alclad's gloss coat here. Remember, use a mask. There we go, that's those parts glossed. And let's put them to one side to dry. Now we can get on with giving the lower wing a quick wash using my homebrew wash. So let's get that sorted, shall we? There we go, that's the lower wing done. Now for the mid wing. Here I found that I'd put the wash onto the Alclad gloss before it dried completely so it was been an absolute nightmare as it had dried into the gloss and it was oh, it was just awful to try and get off. So seeing this I decided to do the lower wing now before it had dried too far into the gloss. Luckily, I'd caught the lower wing in time. I can't say the same about the mid wing though. Here, I'm using a lightly dampened with cellulose thinners cotton bud, which seems to be doing the trick, but you need to do this very, very, very carefully. This is looking absolutely awful. It's going to need a complete respray on the underside. Bugger! Anywho, this seems like a good a place as any to end. So, thank you for watching episode 18. If you want to see what happens in episode 19, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling.